that's my uh, mini clock. Okay, YouTubers, we'll uh, restart the computer. Looks like that needs to be done to make sure the install of this uh, Keys Mini goes correctly. And I'll end the video for now. Okay, YouTubers, I'm back on the computer and have restarted it with uh, Samsung keys installed and I'm going to see what what it says to ne do next is configuring device driver and install uh, they should say on the phone so people aren't confused but there's a picture here graphics saying what to do so I have gone on my phone the vibrant here. Let's see if we can get that focus. I'm using an old camera, but I basically went into settings, applications, and then from there uh, check the box unknown sources, and then went back to home. And then it says to connect the USB cable to the uh, phone. Now I have not opened up uh, the software, the key software, even though there's an icon on the desktop. It doesn't say to do that. So now I'll connect the phone. Let's see, I have to... Um, cables a lot not long enough okay let's see I'll put the phone down for a second okay you can hear that the USB connection was recognized phone, connecting US, be connected, pressing the mount, okay, let's see, I'm going to press, here's the icon, I'm going to double click, This is what's coming up. I double click the keys icon. My phone, the vibrant, is connected to the phone via the USB B cable. And you can see that um, it's saying program update in progress. Nothing is happening on the phone. can see I mean nothing on the screen but let's see um, if this will automatically install Android 2.2 it looks like it's updating keys mini now it's going to the I'm going to keep it in the white space here uh, personal files but it automatically opened up Windows Explorer I have Windows 7 here update is complete I want to minimize this okay here's what the menu came up 
and then it says upgrade available hmm, let's see it says firmware upgrade 11.1 at 9 let's see what happens when we click New firmware Vader version is being downloaded from the web. Can, I'm assuming you can see what that says. The phone screen doesn't indicate anything's going on. Still my uh, home page. I read on the internet somebody else that was talking about the 2.2 becoming available today, uh, January 21, 2011, that they had to. Uh, do a number of updates but that's all they said so this may be what they're talking about that you first have to do some kind of an upgrade on the phone because I don't see anything in here that says uh, it's it's putting Android 2.2 on the phone it simply says a new firmware version Okay, I'm going to end this video. Um, I actually have to put in another video card. And then we'll come back and see what's going on. Let's see, I'll uh, stay. Can, I've got about a minute left on this card. So I'll just, I'll just keep it on here and see what happens with the uh, upgrade. Okay, the phone blocked out. Mm -hmm. Now you can see what it's saying. Mm -hmm. That's the USB cord connecting and disconnecting the cable okay I'll have to end this video put another card in the camera